hello guys so the topic that i am going to discuss today is comparison between dsp and asp so what is dsp is dsp is a digital signal processing and asp is analog signal processing so basically what dsp is dsp is combination of okay dsp is signal processing which is done by combination of adder multiplier and delay elements so in dsp there is only combination of adder multiplier and delay elements only three three elements okay so so before we go further we need to know brief history about uh, signal processing so up to 1970s so ASP was in trend so because DSP was not invented so after, but there, there was some disadvantage of ASP so that's why we go for DSP after 1970s to 2000 we use DSP then after 2000 because of there are some disadvantage of DSP also over ESP that's why after 2000 till now we are using mixture of both DSP and ASP so we will see what are the advantages and disadvantages of DSP over ASP so advantages of dsp or asp are cost of processing per signal in dsp is reduced by time sharing of given processor among a number of signals so what does this statement mean is that uh, uh, because in dsp what we do is we provide sequence of digital pulses one zero one zero okay so there will be so each bit sequence of bits we use we provide sequence of bits and processor so each bit has some bit period so we can use those bit periods for uh, increase efficiency because uh, suppose two second is your time period bit period is two second so for even means for n equal to zero second you are uh, sending one bit n equal to two another bit for the same signal so if it is like this or for even uh, instance only we have some sample so using those odds instead we can you uh, we can send other signal also we can process other signal also like n equal to one we will send some one sample then n equal to three so so two voice signals are present so for even instance we process one signal and for odd instance we process uh, another signal so that's why using time multiplexing so cost of processing will be reduced in DSP while in ASP it is not possible because the signal will be continuous better control of accuracy in digital systems compared to analog system so using the uh, by changing the number of bits to encode to digitize the analog signal into digital signal by changing it number of bits we can uh, control the accuracy if you increase the n if you increase the number of bits the accuracy will be high although the cost will also be increased so third point is digital circuits are less sensitive to tolerance of component values and environment changes also so less sensitive because in analog uh, in analog signal processing there will be some inductor transformer and resistors capacitors so if we if the environment condition will be changes the component value will be changes then the uh, circuit will be uh, circuit behavior will be changed but because the amplitude distortion will occur the signal will be changed accordingly so but in digital circuit uh, because we are sending only uh, digital bits one zero so if uh, the noise if noise occurs also then also uh, the amplitude will not be that much distorted because one will always be one zero will always be zero until and unless the noise uh, does not cause the uh, noise margin so which probability is very less so it is it is fair enough to say that digital circuit are less sensitive to tolerance of component values 
digital systems can be cascaded without any loading problems so because uh, if if you see the analog circuits if you cascade two bjts okay two bjts so two bjt if you cascade two bjts then there will the final gain final gain will not be exact equal to the multiplication of individual gain because there will be some loading effect of transistor 2 on the transistor 1 okay but in digital circuit this condition does not apply in dsv full integration is possible since absence of inductor and transformer okay so because of the because if uh, you cannot uh, uh, you cannot uh, integrate the high value of inductance like you can in, uh, you cannot integrate like micro or milli henry of inductance so so in dsp there is no inductor transfer so full integration is possible so another point is digital circuits can be reproduced easily in large quantities at comparatively lower cost okay because because of the integrated circuits you can build all the components all the components on the single chip so cost will be reduced same circuits can be re reproduced at, uh, at very low cost La and an other point is large dynamic range of voltage is possible okay in analog signal processing components like op amp get saturated for small power supply so here full stop so in dsp large dynamic range of voltage is possible but in analog signal processing uh, components like op amp get saturated for small power supply because in op amp if you provide input uh, if you get output greater than power supply voltage the output will be saturated there will no there will be no amplification so the dynamic range of voltage will be limited in analog signal processing while in DSP this is not the case in DSP operations can be changed by changing the program in digital programmable system that is these are the flexible system so you just need to change few numbers and uh, you need to change some program in digital programmable system to change the operation okay although there are some disadvantages of DSP or ASP so what are those disadvantages so first point is power dissipation is high in dsp compared to asp this is the biggest concern in dsp okay power dissipation is high in dsp compared to asp because in asp only resistors consume more power but inductor capacitors consume less power but in uh, dsp transistors consumes high power so this is the major concern in today's world uh, like in medical field and other field also like in medical field if you are using some uh, some electronic component to be implanted inside the body so it should not consume more power because because you need to change battery very frequently then so if it does not consume uh, very high much very less power it consumes then it will be uh, it will be last or lifelong okay so this is the major concern power dissipation is high in dsp another point is range of frequency of processing is limited in dsp since use of sample and whole circuit and a to a to d convert in dsp few components are there first you provide signal to uh, and you provide analog signal you have analog signal in practical life you like your voice if you need to proceed, uh, process your voice then you first provide your signal to analog uh, sample and hold circuit sample and hold circuit be, why hold because there will be some they, you will need some time to change the digital analog to digital signal first you need to provide to uh, your signal to uh, sample and hold circuit then it will be go to it will go to a to d converter then it will be processed using signal processor then again it will be go it will go to t to a converter and then it will be uh, fed to uh, low pass filter why because 
after d2a converter there will be output of staircase so at staircase uh, the high frequency will be present so you need to remove that so you need to uh, pass through pass it through low pass filter so finally you will get the processed output so so range of frequencies are limited because of the use of sample and whole circuit and a to d converter okay so and, and uh, the other point is high complexity in DSP okay because the circuit will be more complex okay uh, I hope you got the point uh, the whole point of comparison between DSP and ASP why we are using mixture of DSP and ASP because both have their advantages and disadvantages okay thank you